is like it looks like like Israel committing war crimes, like and and you know the violent. Yeah, I mean, like the violent expansion of territory. Just like anytime I hear anything, like and people are always like, "Oh, you know, Hamas are just as bad." And I'm sure Hamas have done some fucked up shit as well. Um, but I don't know. It just feels like the 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 difference in firepower, or just the 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 damage being leveled, or the way like if you look at people in 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 parts of Israel, and then you look at like the state of Palestine, like. They don't really compare. Like, there's people living in, in like as prisoners in in their own, you know, villages, and there. I heard stories of the, the the crutches being taken away from people who'd been injured by bomb blasts in case they used the crutches as weapons, and like that that doesn't feel like it's it's a both sides argument to me at least anyway. Like, why do you think that no one is willing to challenge Israel on this? Because Here. Like, it has to get real sinister, I think, for, yeah, fear, but fear I mean, of what? I'm being censored on all platforms, and, um, like, it, it can have real-world consequences for you. You could be, like, Jeremy Corbyn could become, like, labeled an anti-Semite. People are afraid that it'll affect their work. You know, it's, it's, I think fear is what drives people to silence about these crimes, and the statement that, and also there's a lot of disinformation. I mean, these people are the masters of disinformation. They're literally like, you know, when we talk about genocide, we think of it as, oh, you know, the Native Americans, they were genocided. That was, that's just something that happened a long time ago when people were uh, not as sophisticated or they were just racist. And if you were alive at that time, you'd surely make a stand. But you are alive at this time. It's something that's happening now. It's kind of like saying, oh, the Comanches were just as bad. That's what mm. layers, That's what they mean when they, when they say Hamas is just as bad. But Hamas is a reaction to the creation of a Jewish state. Mm. That, that's like, it, it's, it's almost as though saying that the groups that fought ISIS in Syria were just as mm. bad because they were employing violence against these poor Muslims mm who have been discriminated against by Europeans and they just want to create their own state because you must sympathize with them for that. Like the, the same narratives can be applied to ISIS. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say ISIS. So good. That's, that's Siri. No, that what I'm trying to say is that the same narratives can be applied to ISIS. And as such, it, they make, it actually doesn't make any sense. Um, mm. So ISIS aren't good; they're bad, and fighting them is therefore good. So I don't agree that uh, Hamas can be seen as equal. I think like people have a right to defend themselves, and their territory is being eroded. We know that there is an Israel, but there is no like Palestine at the moment. And at the same time, Israel has never declared its borders which means that it has its eyes on expansion, just like ISIS. And that is the, essentially the problem. Like, you can't tell people you can't fight while they're being killed. And the reason mm. for the recent conflict is because Palestinians in Jerusalem were being removed from their homes and their homes were taken over. That's mm. why the rockets were fired. Mm. As yeah, well as the yeah. Uh, mosque. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the mosque. That was that was pretty pretty uh pretty disgusting, if I'm honest, to uh Yeah. Like that should be a place of worship, like which whatever religion you're from or believe in or don't believe in. <laughs> that's that's people's that like the, yeah. The um <laughs> the hardcore religious Zionists, they want to destroy Al Aqsa Mosque. That's on mm. the agenda. Because on top of it, they want to rebuild the third temple so that the Messiah will come. It's a messianic mm. prophecy. So there's mm. this really crazy, like crazy element. Um, are the are very ISIS-like. What is the third are, temple? The third camp. The yeah. Oh well, I'm not going to give it to the liberal Zionists. <laughs> so I'd say the third camp are people who want the one-state solution. That's what I would say. Okay. 
Okay. It's is it not just like without justice you can't have peace at the end of the day. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the podcast. Don't forget our sponsor ExpressVPN and my book Brexit the Establishment Civil War can both be found in the links in the description below. And also, please like, share and subscribe to this podcast. It's the best way to help us grow. Until next time, thanks for listening. Screw the hedge funds. You can make as many rules as you want, but if there's no teeth behind them, what's the point? Well, like Citadel is potentially just gone in a few months. It feels like financial institutions, that they are all laughing at us by buying GME. <laughs> Screw the hedge funds. Like I will lose my entire investment if it brings them down. Why on earth last May could you buy the entire company for $200 million? What's been happening on Reddit and in social media and in the marketplace? has never been seen before. I argue that nothing is off the table. There is nothing off the table when dealing with the volumes of money in something as big as the United States uh, stock market. The hedge funds have clearly underestimated a group of a group of people raised on Friday night World of Warcraft rates. Dark pools, they are they're another uh, mechanism to manipulate and cheat. Mainstream journalists don't say these things for a number of reasons. Uh, one is their sources are the people that I'm talking about, and so they can't call somebody a crook. Super Stonk and the other communities that have emerged are a hive mind, the likes of which we have never seen before. It's madness and brilliance, insanity and genius all rolled into one. It's very possible that Citadel will be gone in a few months. And, and not just Citadel, but the entire financial system has the potential to come crashing down. These crooks continue to gamble recklessly with the world economy, and this could be the moment that they finally get their justice.